Hey friends, if you're new here, welcome. This channel is Girls with the Curls where we talk about mixed race kids and how to manage their curly hair and also different issues that families of biracial children may face. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to talk to your children about being mixed race and also provide you some activities that you can do with them to help them better identify with being a mixed race child. The first point is to start early. You can start as early as six months with teaching your kids about their culture and their identity. Just having mixed race dolls or Barbies or toys, playing different YouTube videos that are child friendly, baby friendly, maybe music videos, um, that have ABC songs and show children of different diverse backgrounds can really help influence your child in their upbringing while they maneuver being mixed race in this world. Now at maybe about four years, your child will start to identify and notice that their skin tone is different, especially I am a white mother of four biracial children, their father is black, and I've noticed in my journey that probably around the age of four, they really start to notice that we have different skin tones. My oldest is six, the twin girls, they are four, my youngest is two, and I really do as much as I can ever since they were babies to really have different things to show that they identify as mixed race. I have been honest with them that I am white, your father is black, and they can identify who they are and where they came from. My second tip to talking to your kids about race is to have a variety of books that teach them exactly about who they are and it allows them to identify with someone that looks like them. I know that Hair Love is one of the top sellers there's actually a short story video on YouTube. I actually find my children just pulling it up on their own, watching it, and that just sinks into my heart. I love when I see that, um, but it's just so beautiful for them to watch. It's a good laugh. It shows little girl's dad trying to figure out her hair. Um, so it's really cute and they can really identify with this story. So I will link below the short story if you guys want to check that out. We actually did The Magic Poof. Stephen Hodges is the author. And our Facebook group actually met with Stephen Hodges and did a live reading. And that allowed the children to actually see other children that they identify with. Our Facebook group has a lot of mixed kids. And by having a community, especially during a pandemic, we were able to meet virtually on Zoom and the author Stephen Hodges, he was so kindly to offer a discount to anybody interested in that. So I will leave that in the description below. And um, he read to the children both of his books about the magic poof. And I just think this book is so cute and the children were able to talk and discuss and talk to the author and he shared his story which is beautiful. So make sure you check out our video on that and you can actually watch our um, group session of reading The Magic Poof. So I think if you're also raising a child that is mixed, it's not only important to talk to them about it, but you also want to act upon what you're saying. Now, what I mean by that is to take them different places that you are ensuring are diverse. If you don't live in an area that is very diverse. Unfortunately, that's something some of our parents deal with. You can find online groups or communities that other children can relate with. Now, I do fortunately live in a diverse area. I'm right outside Washington, DC. So the girls always see different families. A lot of my friends are different backgrounds. I've always found that growing up, I've had black friends, I've had white friends, Asian friends, Puerto Rican friends. So I've always have a diverse variety of friends and I know my children see that. And so me not saying anything, but them actually seeing it for themselves, 
allows them to see the beautiful way that the world is created and that everybody has a different unique background that each of them love and they can identify with. Another tip I have when talking to your kids about being mixed race is to just be honest with them. Let them know that there are a lot of struggles in this world here today. It is not fair, it is not anything any child should have to deal with, but unfortunately it is how it is and we are working our hardest to change that. So you wanna be honest and let them know exactly what they may see, what they may hear, and teach them how they can react. I know for me, I joined the Black Lives Matter protest over this past summer and I allowed my children to share that with me. Now we set up a safe community. Um, we actually did it with our own community and I volunteered to create a group that was safe for children. We taught them about what it meant to protest in the Black Lives Matter movement. We made signs with them and they really got to feel a part of what was going on in the world. I know it may be difficult to actually have these conversations with your children, but it is something they will face as they grow older. So it is so much better for them if you start at a young age rather than waiting till they're older when they may be caught off guard or blindsided with how they are treated in the world. Like I said, it's not fair and nobody in this world should be treated differently because of the color of their skin, but you want to be honest with your children and let them know exactly how the world sees them and views them and you know i pray that that changes and that eventually the whole world will just be one multicultural diverse race in itself but until that time i think it's so important to have these honest conversations with our children being honest actually leads me to my next tip so my next tip is to actually encourage your child to talk about their race and their feelings. You can ask them questions or if a situation comes up, maybe you wanna see how they're feeling and what was their reaction. Sometimes kids can be shy or they don't know what to say, but being in the comfort of your home, maybe you could wait till then and then really ask them what they felt after the situation happened especially if it's something that made them uncomfortable or somebody may have said something that was hurtful to them. Wait until they've calmed down and you're home and you're safe and then open the conversation up to your child and encourage them to speak how they felt about it. And even if you don't know how to respond, let your child know that you can research it and we'll find out what to do. Um, let them know that you're learning just as much as they are. It, even though you're an adult, you don't know everything. And I think just being honest with them about that, but you're gonna work with them to find the answer. I think that's really important and empowering when you talk to your children about their mixed race. So my final tip when it comes to talking about your child about being mixed race is to love and embrace who you are and also love and embrace who they are. By doing so, you can tell them how beautiful they are in their own natural skin. You can ensure that they love each feature about them, what mommy gave to them, what daddy came to them, and they are a beautiful product of that. And in God's eyes, every child is built in their own unique way, and that is a beautiful thing. I know for me, my children and I are Christians, and that's a very important in our lives overall, but it also helps when it comes to identifying who they are and loving who they are. Knowing that God is there in their corner, and no matter what someone may say or how they feel about a certain situation that happens to them, due to the color of their skin, everything is going to be okay because God is there with them 100% and that God made them exactly how they should be, color of their skin and their identity and all of that. They are supposed to be the way they are and even if they don't know why at this moment, at this fragile age that they are, as they get older, they will see exactly why they were made the way that they are in God's eyes. Well, I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found great tips and things that will be helpful 
when you go to talk to your child about being mixed race, these are some tips that I have used on my journey raising my four mixed race children. It has really helped them to identify and love and embrace who exactly they are. So if you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up, slam that like button, and make sure you subscribe and click on the notifications bell so you are notified for all of our videos. Now, if you would love to join a community that shares all of these different ideas, tips, and tricks, and just your journey in general can be helpful when you're talking to other adults that are dealing with the same situation. So I have an exciting opportunity for you. We are launching a new community on March 15th. It is called the Mixed Kids Corner, and I'm so excited. Two of my best friends and I are launching this community to help other parents maneuver this journey of life being a parent of a mixed race child. So not only will it be helpful for the grown-ups, but the children as well. So please click on the link below so you can check out exactly what we have in store. We're really excited about this launch and we hope you guys will join us on this adventure. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. We love you, bye-bye.